Hey, I got a good topic for you today, good brother. You and I talked about it the other day, and it was talking about is, do you know what love is? You know what I mean? Do you know what love is? I, I think, I think that's that's critical. You know, I, I and I also reflect back on, um, you know, Bishop was talking. And, you know, sometimes I may want to say, we may want to have a topic for the month and just focus on the topic for the month, just to kind of milk it and try to make sure the emphasis of it, you know, uh, just to take it focus. But this focus right here should be, do you know what love is? And, and, and I think that's a valid question to ask too, isn't it? Do you know what love is? Because obviously, when people could be led to do violence, and, and and even ministries endorsing balance is to mean that when people don't know what love is. And maybe more people don't know what God's will is, even though, oh, look, excuse me, that's not true, right? My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, but the reality is talking about my people are destroyed because they rejected knowledge, isn't it? it it's, it's, it's all about rejecting God's knowledge and God's will, but I want to focus on, do you know what love is? And I put down here, uh, that's the topic today. You know, it started off with the Good Samaritan, you know? And I'd rather start with that. And then, so for people to understand, we're focused on what love is. And and he gave us a, a parable that, shows us and demonstrate the understanding of the type of love that God is looking for, opposed to false love, false humility, let's go into what his will is, amen? So, you know, as always, we, we turn the stage over to you and we oh. let you read the scripture. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know, I mean, if you don't want to, let me know. But the bottom line is, let's, 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 see what the word says that's the key right then we put our comments in then we put our commentary in yeah. but let's focus on what did it say first and then do our commentary on it amen okay. so you got luke 10 25. all right and behold a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him saying master what shall i do to inherit eternal life he said unto him what is written in the law how readest thou? And he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, and who is my neighbor? <laughs> and Jesus answered, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So, so in this particular part of the slide, <laughs> uh, do, do you want to comment on that, or, or at least I want to put this question to you? I said, it. what was the purpose of the question? What was the question? The question was, uh, how does he in, he inherit eternal life? That's a serious question, isn't it? it yeah, it is because <laughs> this is 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 it's insinuating. Yes, sir. That he is a child of God. Yes, sir. First and foremost. Right. No question about it. So he's assuming that he is as Christ is. He or, or or as a as a uh, uh, Abraham a right right. Well, see, in, right? in my mind, I mean, because he's not a Christian yet, you know. But, you know. Well, 
if 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 yeah. Oh, he's a child. He's a child of Israel. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? children of Israel. He's okay. a covenant. He, he, he's a child in the covenant. Yeah. Right. He, he, he is tied by a covenant with Abraham. Yes, sir. Okay, and so his. But the problem is, he he asked this question, and yes, and I'm he did. Trying to figure out why would he ask this question? Because apparently he, they didn't knows, know. Well, if he knew what the word said, <laughs> what did the word say? Because he said, Jesus. Well, yeah, you see, what I'm saying he. I'm saying he, if, he, if, I, if, I want to say Jesus, but I, I also want to say uh, Yeshua. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Je Yeshua. But he's asking Yeshua. He's not recognizing Yeshua exactly as a savior, redeemer at yes. this this stage in life, right? No, he, he's under he actually just thought he was a teacher. A he thought he was this person who passed by on the, <laughs> yes, on the right side. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right. He's you know, a, somebody a, a, in that, a, that lead, capacity. A, lead, a Christian yes. leader, not a Christian leader, but a, a, a scholar. Of the of, of understanding the word of God, yeah, you know, and and, and the and thing also, is that I'm pretty sure he he's gotten wind of the miracles that were performed, yeah, and, and the people who are following him, you know, that they're, they're saying that he's he's either you know Elijah or you know or, or they, there's the just a lot of a lot of rumors yeah. going on yeah. about him, and, yeah. there, and there's there's people following him and worshiping him. Right. But you know, all of them and to tell Christ told them that he would be crucified, you know, he told the disciples and all that yeah. stuff. And then he had to be rose again. Though they, they're operating under the law. That I mean that's probably a better word to put in it is that yeah. he is a child, he's in a covenant with God, yeah, uh, by the laws of God. Yeah. And he knows that the laws of God, the commandments of God equals eternal life yeah, yeah. right now yeah, christ that, came that's what they're for they're, the the thing is their life their uh -huh. lifestyle yeah their lifestyle yeah their lifestyle the way they live was yes. designed to fulfill the law yes sir no their, question their, about everything it. about their life yes set up to fulfill the laws of god and yes. those who were tied to the covenant Come on now, you're talking. Those, those those rules and regulations and 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 things that were that were passed down from years and years to help keep the law. Yes, sir. It was the law. The there law. Was, there was rules and and things that were counted to the law. Yes, sir. To help them keep the law. Come on now, you okay. talking. Okay. Uh, so these people who are are born into this and raised into this and this yes. is a part of their life no different than we have laws for our nation you know right uh, and we live by those laws in this nation uh, at least at least we did well we we, we have laws <laughs> but you know one thing about you know it's interesting the government laws though does not address what this man was asking no 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 i was just saying how these people were were raised up in a in a in a lifestyle based on the laws that were given by god yeah and godly people and but in this nation we're raised up by laws that were given by the forefathers yes sir of this nation right okay and and so i'm just trying to get us to understand that this was their nature of living this was yeah. how they lived was according yeah. to the law this is why this man was able to say what he said when and he funny. said what was written right how do you read it that how was right exactly what was written and exactly. so this man answered and said thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart i mean come on this is the first law exactly <laughs> You know, exactly. this is this is everything built built upon this. Come on. And so he recited this, and then 
after he said this, I, I guess he, he understood the first part. Yes. And didn't understand the last, the, the second part of that law, which was, and thy neighbor as thyself. And then exactly. he asked that question. Right. Who, who is my is neighbor? Thy neighbor. And who better to ask <laughs> to get some clarification? Come, Come on. on. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, then this parable was given to give clarity. Yes, to answer the question, to get yes. eternal so that life. It I mean, he broke it down. He did. So, so, and I think that one of the things with the audience is to remember is that the question that, you know, I like when you go back to Bishop again, what was the central theme yeah, the of CIT. this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, is to, to have eternal life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and, and it's so, funny. Huh? Go ahead. Well, my thing is, I mean, this man could have asked, you know, how do you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your strength? That would have been my question. Yes, sir. I'm just saying, just me personally, because I, I, I really, we went over this and we uh -huh. went into this scripture in depth. And I mean, we exegeted this bad boy. I mean, we we delved into this. Exactly. And and in my doing so, over a couple of weeks, I believe, yes, maybe, maybe two, three weeks. That was that, yeah. I began to think, why didn't he ask that part? <laughs> he, you know, because you can say, that you've done that, but can you really say that you're doing that? Yeah, I think I think the part about that one is that they had a reverence toward God, a, yeah. a fear, a righteous fear toward God. So they, you know what I mean? They, they, yeah. When I mean reverence, that means they there's a godly expectation, knowledge of recognizing who He is. Remember, they was I think back in those days, right? They didn't want to say his name, right? They, yeah. they, they, because of that, they, they, they honored his name so much. Yeah, they reverenced it. They, it. they, they exalted it. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. And then, because the second one is so likened to the first. Yeah. <laughs> we are made in the image and the <laughs> likeness of God. Right. That it fits right up there with it. Come on now. And so the crazy thing is, and which is why I was trying to get everybody to understand, this is their life. This their is whole, their life. Everything is built upon this. Their, yes, sir. The way they live is built upon this. And then he asked that question, who's thy neighbor? And then this parable. Yes. Yeah. When you really understand this parable, it breaks down some things because, like we said, a certain priest came. Now, if anybody's going to know. Anybody. Come on. This priest is going to know. Okay? And this priest who had the oracles of God passed down to him. Come on now. Talk to me. In such a way that he is a leader in helping those people understand this. Yes. Right. He He's not the example. one that makes them understand. He helps them to understand. They yes, they sir. they have it. They have access to the actual writings. And they, look, they're in the place so where you actually go to worship. Yeah, not everybody had access to the writings that yeah, were they written. Did. Right. On those right. those those, those tabs, those scrolls of the word of God. Of uh -huh. the laws, uh -huh. and he had access to it. So that's that's the difference in this particular person, and so he was a leader in this, in the things of God. And this man, when he saw this guy, and it doesn't say that this 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 person in the beginning of this parable is a neighbor. It doesn't say that at all. But it's talking about, in my mind, how the people, the children of God, those who are chosen to be 
uh, uh, representative representatives yes. of the law of yes. these scriptures, right? How they did not fulfill them, right? This guy who 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 knows it through and four and could probably say the same thing and give a parable just like this. <laughs> sure, David. Right. You know, he he walked to the other side because that person wasn't considered no one to him. No, right. And that he is stripped from his, I mean, and, and here's the point about it. He doesn't know whether this person is a uh, a person from uh, a yeah. Hebrew. He didn't a know Hebrew, whether that person a was Gentile, a Jew. Uh, a slave. Uh, he doesn't know who he is. He could have been a priest. He could have been, hey, come on, brother. He could have been a priest. He could have been family that he don't know about. Well. But when he saw this person, and obviously the way this is, is, is saying, he was stripped of his raiment. Yeah. And was wounded to the point of death. Yes. So they pummeled this dude. Yeah. They, they, they literally tried to kill this guy. Uh in robbing him. So anyway, this guy, this priest sees this image and doesn't want to have no part of it because, you know, he no different than reason. us. Yeah, he, he when, just said, when, yeah. when you see somebody getting robbed or, or somebody after they got robbed, a lot of people don't want to be involved in it because now they have to answer to the powers that be. You think that's the reason why? Or the I fact is, that, because if, if they come out and say, I have to the person, they all they answer is saying, hey, I came up on this car accident. Remember in Germany? You was in Germany too, right? Yeah. Remember in Germany, you, you had to have a first aid kit. Yeah. Because it's the law that you have people that's obviously in need. Uh, but well, this, here this, in the United States, you help somebody, you can be sued by that person you help. I know, isn't that sad? That is sad. People, there have been people who have been brought into court for helping somebody. Yeah. In 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 this situation. Yeah. Yeah. There have been people who have been persecuted. Yeah. By the law. Yeah. Because it's easier for somebody who comes forth to be investigated for them to go out and do their job and finding out. So this person who he must have had something to do with, it. and that's, yeah. that's just what I'm saying. But uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, this, this priest, this 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 important man, this man of God, who spent man, time praying, worshiping God, yeah. yeah, and knows these and knows what the what the scripture, what is written, right? He walks on the other side. Don't even know that he's a fellow Jewish brother or not. Okay, because his clothes was off. He didn't, but he didn't want to find out anything. He could have found if he wanted have nothing to do with this. this he wanted nothing to do with it. it to the point to where he didn't, he didn't even walk on the same side he was on to. He says, he when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Knowing the man is in need. Knowing the man, you know. And I like the fact is you think about when we talk about forgiveness of our debts, and we forgive our debt to ours. The, the point is, what would you want somebody to do if that was you on the road? This yeah. half yeah. dead. You know what I mean? You 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 have that person because you wish somebody would have do the same for you. And that goes with that scripture. Can yes, thy sir. Neighbor as thyself. Now, exactly. That's exactly. And and you know, I wanted to keep one question that you were saying too was these people were in covenant are in covenant with God and yet they he still had to ask the question you know I don't know if you tapped in that too is how to, don't you know how to get eternal life did you did you miss something you know what yeah. I mean because they're asking the question they know they got the law right the commandments of God and yet they're going to still ask him the question yeah. what must I do to inherit eternal life in, in my mind, I think this man, he, he, 
he I, I, I want to say he was without faith but but faith had not faith had had not come yet yeah <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. right faith came but faith did not manifest itself not not faith right they, they, because they, it's, they had the law though they had yeah. a covenant you they had know the I mean? law and the covenant and they and they were supposed to believe it with all exactly and so right just like what all these sacrifices for and all these other things for yes yeah. so, so the thing is he knew it but he did not have faith in it he did not He questioned maybe, it. Maybe, maybe he thought I, that he was undeserving. I think you said. I think you. I think you had the better. I think the first word was better. He didn't have faith, even though we're talking because faith is not just synonymous to Christianity. But the bottom line is, he didn't have faith in what he was doing. Yeah. Or at least believe he's supposed also, to be doing these, these to get people, eternal life. They they were not perfect. No. Just because that's why they had that's the that's why they they kept the law, and that's why they had sacrifices. Exactly. exactly. And which is why I was saying he, maybe he he had done something that made him feel undeserving. Hey, but look, but don't forget though, he had the answer to that, right? Yeah. There's to do sacrifice, right? Yeah. Then sin what a sin offerings too? Yeah, sin yeah. offerings and stuff. Uh was the sacrifice matter of fact, here's a good question for you that I'm not clear on was was the annual sacrifice to cover all your sins for that year? You know, one is one one year they go with the Passover. I guess they they come in to do mm -hmm. the sacrifice and they bring in the doves and, and all of you know they do it often. They do it quite often. It's not just once a year. I I don't think for how many went to Jerusalem? Did they? That I, I thought was was once a year. Yeah, and but I think I, I wanted that, that. There was there was other things like the the turtle doves and the the and grain offering, all those other offerings, right? Yeah, different offerings. But um, they went to Jerusalem because they could have did those. Some things they could do at their local level, right? Yeah. But they went to Jerusalem for a reason every year. What yeah. leader could have went four times a year, but I know they would. Apparently, it sounded like there was that a high Sabbath. Remember, yeah. there was a high Sabbath. Yeah. Uh, and it could have been the Passover. I, that's a good. That's a good. That's something I research to take a look. But the question, remember the the, the but it was talking about the bulls, bloods of bulls and goats doesn't yeah. doesn't take away the conscience. I was just wondering though, was that well anyway? The priest he went into the temple, I think it was once a year. Yeah. For, yeah. For and, the, and, and 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 just because he went in that once. Don't mean he came out. <laughs> obviously, hey, hey, obviously look, not all of them came out. That's why they had a rope on them, right? Yeah. yeah. So this sound like that sound like that was something done once a year for the people. Yeah. Imagine okay. that first one that didn't make it out. <laughs> hey, that brother stayed in there until the next year. <laughs> Seriously. Oh no, they had a rope on them. Remember they tied a rope? No, on. I'm talking about before that. Oh, the first one, right? The first one. Yeah, and then like, that what? What not? He didn't come out until the, the following year. <laughs> hey, hey, they, they would have said he got caught up, but they probably smelled that odor. And yeah, said, well, I seen he, them bones in there. Look, he in there. He, <laughs> hey, when you get caught up, there ain't nothing left behind. <laughs> I know, you know that's uh, sad. Uh, but, but it was the important. The thing is, imagine being the next one. And exactly. <laughs> and so, you know, you got going in after that. Hey, look, and don't forget, this person was a lawyer. Yeah. A study of the law. Yeah, that that was the next one. Come on now. This Come was the, 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 the next one was the one that would actually judge you based on the law. Yeah, exactly. Or this defend one you. was the one that would, would hold up the standard. Come on now. But the other one was a studier Come on. and a teacher. The Come first on. one, the right. first one, the, 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 the priest. Come on. He was the and the teacher of the law. He was uh, the one that 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 did the rituals. Yes, sir. For, for uh the different uh offerings and stuff. Right. The right. next one was like he was like the one that that would 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 take you to 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 court 
Come on now. He's, he could be your advocate too, right? He was like the accuser <laughs> of, of, or an upholder of somebody who's, let's just say somebody was accused for passing on the other side. Uh huh. He uh -huh. would be the one that you would talk to. Right. That would justify your complaint. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. That's, so, that's interesting, right? So yeah. we're talking about a lawyer. Now, he was trying to, this one doesn't say he was trying to tempt him. Remember those others when they tried to tempt him, right? Yeah. This one was not a tempting. This was a person. Oh, matter of fact, when you think about it, there's three people that both have known the law. Yeah. The first all, one. All three of them. Exactly. He's but, but the the first one. two with understanding. Come on now. Christ even said it too, didn't it? Yeah. Christ responded to him. And he said it to him, what, what's written in the law? You, you a lawyer. Yeah. What, what, what does the law say? You come running, you come asking me what I must do to inherit eternal life. You asking me. And you are a lawyer. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw it back on you. <laughs> That's what he did, didn't it? I'm going to yeah. throw it back on you. What does the law say? Yeah, what is written? Come on, bro.